Hello! Today is a day for birthday surprises and sweet revenge! Welcome back to the Igniter SMP. This is episode 21. You may remember the drama at the Llama Sanctuary. Needfi's dragon escaped and ate all my rescue llamas. As a punishment, I made her put all her armor into this box of shame so that I could rename everything. And I asked you, the viewers, for suggestions of what to write on the armor. I have read your comments and today is the day of reckoning. But first there's a little job I have to do at Blackie's ancient city. You see, it's Blackie's birthday and we want to do something nice for him. Blackie's big project this season is renovating this ancient city and bringing it back to its old glory. But that's a big project for one person and he has another problem. Have a look at this. He is a man with a shulker monster. He has got chests and boxes and stuff all over the server. And for his birthday, we're going to help him sort both problems. Luckily, he's away for a few days, so all the igniters have teamed up to clear out the skulk from this place. So now it's time to tackle problem number two, and I'm going to build him an amazing warehouse. This industrial building has stained glass windows with a really cool ombre effect. The floor is functional and good to look at. I particularly like the waterlogged copper grates with the frog lights underneath. I think they look super cool. It's really bright so there will be no dark spots in this storeroom. And of course there will be tons of chests for all his stuff. To get the stained glass effect you need three layers. At the back you have colourful wool, in front of that is a row of light sources with carpet on top and then you leave that one empty with just air. And the row in front is tinted glass so no light gets in. The only light source is coming from the bottom and as you move higher up the light levels diminish so you get that lovely ombre effect. Of course you can also practice your parkour skills as you're building. I set up some useful tool stations between the aisles and then Neatfries dropped in. <laughs> she took pity on me and labelled some of the chests. It's a tall building so I also made a first floor gallery. I think it looks really good. Maybe Blackie can keep some more special things up here. Yes, lights on. I love copper bulbs. Now I just have to finish the roof. I love warped wood with copper, but I was too lazy to let the copper age. It can just age while he's kind of filling his boxes or something. I mean, it will turn green eventually, right? And that's it. Done. All made from materials that you can actually find in the ancient city, like deep slate and tuff and basalt. Hang on, can you find basalt in the ancient city? I don't know. Maybe. Ugh, let's not dwell on my ignorance and admire the big beautiful bee above the door instead. Come inside and have a look around. There's even a birthday cake. I think it turned out alright. What do you think? Oh, there's Blackie's head and all his tool stations. Plenty of space for all his stuff. And yeah, I even thought of health and safety. There's chains, look. So I really hope Blackie likes this. Shall we go and find him? Hello. Hello. Hi, I hear you. Are you in your shop? I am in my shop. Hello. Ah, I can see hello. you. I can hello. see you. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. What gives me the honor of your visit? Well, it, it has been a special day uh, uh, recently, and you were away, and now you're back. And yes. Yes, and I thought we should maybe go and celebrate. Oh, where, where where do we go and celebrate? Um, I mean, how about the ancient city? I think that's a suitable place for hmm. celebrations. Okay, okay. I don't think there is a pub there, but... Um... Oh, that's okay. Come on. Let's go to your ancient city. Uh, okay, okay. Pew, pew, pew. I can see it. Okay. Come over here and see mm -hmm. if you notice anything. Um... Right. Mm. Not immediately. Come, come over here a bit more. You may notice okay. it a bit more when you come over here. <laughs> Is it 
possible that Blackie doesn't even notice the difference? Hmm. Nothing? No? Oh, I I noticed something. Ooh. There's a big building here. Uh, yes. There's a huge big building yes, here. Yes, and also you have a lot less skulk on your ceiling because um, the whole Ooh, team spent yes, that the whole team spent uh, spent a whole afternoon oh. scrubbing the ceiling. I d oh wow! This is all gone. We haven't done everything. We've done as much as we could. Well, that is a huge improvement. Uh, I have to fly around and have a proper look yes. at it. Yes. Oh wow! So. Ha ha Happy birthday. That is amazing. Oh, thank Happy you. Happy birthday. This is your birthday present. Oh, wow. Neatrice helped. She, she was so disgusted by your uh, shulker box monster <laughs> that she started, <laughs> while I was building, she started putting some stuff away. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's your storage room. Yay. Yes, I hope you like the color scheme and... Uh, and I hope you will. I hope it will motivate. Look, I can. I can walk on the train. <laughs> Are you a tightrope walker now? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let yeah, me see. I'm, let me I'm... see. Yes, he's a tightrope walker. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, Blackie did eventually have a fly around and appreciated how much work had actually been done on the ceiling, and he loves his new storage room. He has already started tidying up a bit, and with a bit of luck, by the time his next birthday comes around, there will be no more Shalka monster. Hooray! So now it's time to name and shame Neatfreeze's armor. But her stuff is so heavily enchanted that I need a ton of XP. So what better place to go to than Blackie's Drowned Farm? Thank you for all your suggestions. Here are some of my favorites. So I did the deed and now it's time for Neatfreeze to face the music. Oh, and it's also been her birthday. Yes, they both had a birthday. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. So, uh, first of all, happy birthday. Thank and you. And secondly, you remember your armor that's in this box of shame, mm -hmm. right? The box of... Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, has any news? Are there any news on the dragon? No, but I'm designing a trap to actually catch it. That's so very good. I would be hopefully. very happy to assist you in this. Now, this is what you now have to wear. Pure dragon leather boot. Oh, that's so mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, so somebody suggested that we should call them pure leather. I'm not going to tell you who that was, but somebody, uh, is some one of the viewers suggested that, that, that. And I thought that was, that that was deliciously evil. I like that. Okay. That was really evil, yes. Yeah. Okay. Llamas are friends, not food. Yeah. Okay. I can agree. Okay. With that, then there's yeah. a birthday cake to sweeten the to birthday sweeten cake. the pain. I am a dude dragon. Mom. Oh no! That is supposed to say I'm a good dragon, mommy. Okay. Well, it's actually really evil if you translate dude. I'm a do I'm a dead dragon. No, don't. no, no, no. I think you need to. I think you need to change that. Okay. Happy birthday, Nidris. Well, at least half of it is decent. Yeah, no, no, the, 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 it was supposed to say, I'm a good dragon mummy. Yeah, just remember, okay. llamas are not food. Llamas are friends, not yes, food. Yes, exactly. Nidris was very lucky it was her birthday. I simply couldn't do anything mean to her on her birthday. That's just, no, I, I can't. And now it's time to start working on the Christmas village. But that's for the next episode. Until then, have a hippy dippy day. Bye bye.